yeah, I mean, I just wanted to get off on, you know, get our team off on a good note for a homestand. So um, to come out with a win, you know, winning game one, especially with how important, you know, these next five games are, um, yeah, there was a little bit more importance to that to me. Yeah, I mean, um, kind of found out last night probably before everyone else did. So um, just made sure I was in bed a little bit earlier, like a normal day game. Other than that, um, nothing's going to really change that aspect <laughs> of it. You know, you're still playing. And obviously with the delay, um, I feel like that's the seventh one this year that I've had, so I'm, <laughs> I'm used to it, yeah. You always to, uh, pitch with intensity and the same kind of focus. How does it feel, though, as you guys come down the stretch, and does it feel a little more different? Just there's so much on the line right now. Can you kind of describe that? Yeah, I mean, it's a ton of fun, one. Um, this is why you play the game, to play in moments like this and to play in front of fans. You know, with the whole time change, too, I mean, they still showed up, and we're pretty locked in from pitch one, so... Um, yeah, I mean, it's a ton of fun. This is why you play the game, and, uh, you know, it's nice that we kind of hold our own destiny now. Can you well, show your emotion yeah. towards the fans when you, when you ended up and you yeah. gave them an applause, too? Right? Always, always. You know, I'm very thankful. You know, the fans have always embraced me ever since I got here. So um, for me to go out and perform in front of them and give them something to cheer about, you know, this late in the season is that's why you play the game. You were loud, too. Right? Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Did you very see the signs they had today, Scoob season, the K signs? I did see that. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I saw it. Uh, That's pretty cool. How much thought have you given to the fact that a week from today you could be pitching game one of the postseason? None. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we got to, I mean, we still, we got to get there. You know, it's not, we haven't clinched or done anything like that. We got to get there. So I haven't, you know, my mind's on Sunday. So, um, you know, we got to win the, Keep winning, keep winning, and then we'll get there. We can talk about that when it comes time. We know with the schedule change, um, you know, a lot of people that wanted to be here couldn't be here, and there were a lot of kids that held up signs that said, we miss school for okay. Scooble, and uh, there were some teachers here as well. <laughs> Let's do it again on Thursday. Let's have them miss school again on Thursday. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's cool. I think this is a great way to miss school. I'm not going to be an ad. I mean, go to school. Go to school tomorrow and then take the day off again. Um, but, yeah, you know, it's fun. It's fun. You know, Thursday I look forward to seeing those same signs uh, out there, you know, it'll be fun. What's your performance today? Did you feel like um, your changeup obviously is, is your money pitch, but did you feel like it, it was better today than it had been maybe your last couple? Yeah, I think I executed a lot better today too. I, I don't, um, yeah, I don't think my last two starts, I've really executed that pitch very, very good. So um, it, it was better execution today for, for me. And, you know, I was in the zone and out of the zone when I needed to be. Did you have to, did you have to kind of, adjust to the conditions early because your stuff progressively got better you know you're, you're, even your, your four seam and two seam got better after like the first couple innings yeah it was just a little wet it was damp it was misty so it was just and I'm, I sweat a ton so when you kind of mash those things together it's sometimes hard to grip the ball so as the weather kind of went away I think that's probably why my stuff you know got better because I was able to grip the ball a little bit better just one last one Tarek from a standpoint of at this point in the season, that's 31 starts for you, yet you throw a season high in pitches. Like, could you give us a sense of just kind of where you're at mentally, physically, and the, the ability to get through seven innings and to be able to throw a season high when a lot of people are maybe tapering? Yeah, I mean, it's, the goal is to do this every year. You know, the goal is to, is to peak in September and get to October hot and, and see what can happen. You know, you never know with the playoffs. So, um, yeah, I don't put too much weight into it. You know, I'm just I'm going to go out there and pitch and then, you know, whenever AJ takes the ball out of my hand, he takes the ball out of my hand. But I'm going to go out and get as many outs as I can before that. From the dugout, were you cognizant of Perez's at bats throughout the game? How he like, got the walks? Yeah. The no, I mean, he grinded out the first one. And then when the second one came time with the bases loaded, um, I felt good going into it. You know, and, and Carp just, I mean, he damn near missed that. Just missed it. I mean, that was almost a grand slam. So, um, yeah, it was, it was awesome. It was awesome. Hey, Derek, when did this become real for you? Like, is there a day or a game when you look back and say, you know, we got a good enough chance? I haven't been asked that. I don't know. I, I, I've been hard for me to put one game on it. You know, all, all I've said is, uh, you know, I think we went to Anaheim and got swept, and then we went to Cincy and swept the Reds after they just swept the Yankees. And for whatever reason, that series sticks out to me um, right before the All Star break. I don't. If you went and looked at the numbers in your guys' head, you guys were actually horrible for another week. And that, that would be true. <laughs> but like, for whatever reason, like that's just what sticks out to me. You know, we get swept and. You know, I'm not, not embarrassed, but then we're, we're still on the road and we got to finish some games and we won a weekend. You know, we swept a weekend and got back home. So, um, yeah, for whatever reason, that sticks out to me. But, yeah.
after we're seeing a lot of emotion from you on the mound and even today when you're coming off the mound of the fans what can fans expect from you going forward as we go down the stretch yeah i mean every time i take the mound you know i give it everything i got i don't want to leave anything in the tank so and that's all i can do at the end of the day you know i can't control you know soft hits whatever happens defensively i can't control often all i can do is empty the tank and give it everything i've got on when i'm on the mound so um that's all i can promise the fans